Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Girl up with Khalees, and I am back with another video. Okay, so yesterday, y'all got part one of why I left my job. Um, today is part two, um, but without further ado, you know, I gotta have something good to eat. I'm trying to be healthy or whatever, and... And you know what I'm saying, eat a little salad, eat a little salad. So, today is going to be part two, ladies and gentlemen. So, stay tuned. But anyway, today I got some sushi for y'all. Um, this is some salmon and tuna sushi, and this is some grilled salmon back here. I got a little sesame seed salad for y'all. Okay, I know y'all see the quality camera. I know y'all see it. I got some soy sauce mixed with sesame seed oil, and I have some sriracha in the front. And to drink, we have some Red Bull. Y'all know. <laughs> y'all know me and my Red Bull. Except for what y'all don't know, because I haven't really had Red Bull to drink on the show. As a matter of fact, I ain't had Red Bull at all to drink. Oh, bitch, I'm ready to fly away with you. Yes. Um, y'all want to see my drink? Let's see y'all go. Oh, and I got the little ginger and wasabi. Okay, I'm going to just put it on the side. I'm, I'm going to just put it on the side. The little cute side right here, but I don't want to knock into it. So, how about that? So, I'm going to say grace for my food, and we're going to get into this video. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. In the Lord's name, I pray. Amen. So, how y'all been doing? I've been living my best life. Ever since I left that job, y'all, like, I've been so much happier. I've been so much happier. I think I'm going to break up break up my story time in like series so you guys can just hear like sporadic story times i've been so much happier oh i got soy sauce back here y'all i've been so much happier my skin been getting clear me and my man been doing really good like I'm just so happy. Um, and let's get into this video. I want to eat a little bit first. I'm feeling myself. Mm. Yesterday, me and my lover, we went out to Uncle Julio's. So, they have the best drinks. They have the best drinks. When I mean, they drink like literally... Smack your ass. They smack your ass. For everybody in my email asking me where am I from, I'm from Chicago. Big Chicago. Not the little one. Now let me quit. Please excuse my background noise. I don't know what I'm doing. Today's Saturday. I got two. Y'all already know. Today's Saturday. I want to go fishing today, but my lover, he doesn't. Ooh, seaweed salad. It's all right. And, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I got this. And I got some sriracha. Mm. I think I'm going to mix this in with my, you know, give it a little spice. A little something nice. 
So I real life miss y'all. Like the reason why I am on camera is because I have energy now. Like I have a lot more energy. I have a lot more positive vibes. Um, I didn't want to go to Arizona, but I knew I didn't stay. I didn't want to stay there either because it was just a really yeah. excuse me. It was just a really toxic work environment. Like you would literally imagine having your boss have you. Mm. Close one of the busiest sites and then have nobody come help you and then just expect you to understand the circumstances and all this other stuff and really don't give a damn about you or appreciate shit you do. They just want another worker. Imagine literally leaving to somewhere that you are not scheduled. You go, you help out. It's no problem. You understand people have accidents and situations and stuff like that. You go with open arms. You don't care. You're a genuine good person. And then the following day, have your boss ask you to cover another side. Well, stay an extra day on the schedule. No, I think it was to stay an extra day on the schedule. And I said, you know what? I'm really burnt out. I told him, say hi. You know, she was like, and then lie, lie about what you told her. Oh, I know you love overtime. So, uh, I'm like, she was like, so and so told me how much you love overtime. So I just wanted to know. Um, uh, first of all, I never talked to this person a day in my life saying that I love overtime. <laughs> Second of all, you don't gotta lie. Third off, let me finish saying my statement before I go. Before I make that third off. So, I basically was so confused. And you know, you got to give respect to your boss or whatever, your supervisor or whatever like that. So, I'm like, um, no, you, I'm really burnt out. You know, like, I'm really tired. I don't even have the energy you know, to come in and stuff like that. You know, I didn't say it like that, but I was like, um, hey, I was like, I really just need my day off to rest, you know. I've been working really hard lately. So, honey, after the fact, I left what I was doing. Mm, this was a little, I'm not telling you my words. After the fact, I helped her the following day and go somewhere else. Y'all know what she did on me. It's okay. You're just not that flexible. I'm not flexible. But I could have sworn I just left my current job to travel across town to the ghetto. By the way, to go help you because one of your workers got into an accident. But okay. Okay. I'm not flexible. Uh -huh. I'll be told things like that. Um, It'll be things said like, like, because it was this, my friend, she's my dear friend. I love her so much. We call her Kitty Cat. Uh, Excuse me. Well, I'll call her kitty cat. Um, she's a very nice person. And she was like, oh, yeah, I will never send you to that site. She told the girl, because 
my friend white i don't care she white she said oh i would never send you there she told her she's like i would never send you there and stuff like that uh, and i'm like excuse i'm like okay that's that's what she told her oh i'm sorry y'all my mouth hot she's like oh i'll never see you there i'll never see you there and she was like please um you're covering ha uh hamling or whatever the fuck they site called y'all when i tell you that was the most racist shit i've ever encountered it's not the most racist no the most racist thing that i encountered with this lady was basically she said that she didn't expect me to know what an hcg test was y'all know that hcg is a hormone that women produce in pregnancy and it's on every goddamn pregnancy box in america i'm not qualified to know that but it'll just be stuff like that um basically getting trapped like the dumb black girl um basically getting trapped like shit basically um yeah basically getting trapped like shit the dumb black girl um i wouldn't get managed up and i'll do countless of things um everybody makes mistakes you know and i'm not saying that i'm the perfect worker i've made mistakes yeah, I'm not here to say that I'm perfect. However, don't belittle me. Don't try to make it seem like I'm stupid either. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's just not okay. That's just not cool. And I felt like she would do that a lot. She would also like say, like say things about another coworker. She had a lot of like anxiety and disorders, like mental disorders and stuff like that. And like it would be so much bad stuff said about her like she would like literally just trash talk her like yeah the new girl that just came in is gonna run her through the ground and it's gonna run right past her and this and that and she got here first it would be like a lot of bad stuff she would really talk a lot of shit about her staff if they didn't like do what she wanted or she was just very unprofessional like very unprofessional she thinks that her staff is her friends um she, uh, some of her staff i'm not gonna say any names but some of her staff is her friend like outside of work fucking terrible because you don't mix business with pleasure um but let's get into the story so let's get into the story i have so many of them emotional distress just working there just being undermined manipulated um just overall like a very terrible person like she is a terrible person like a very fucking terrible person and she does things to make somebody think that she's really helping them but it's all a game of manipulation you're really helping yourself at the end of the day um it's just a lot of manipulation, a lot of lies, lies and lies of lies, um, lots of nitpicking. Like it was this girl that worked there, this lady, I should say, cause they all grown as hell. Um, it was this lady that worked there. She just started, um, and I'm not gonna say her name, but she went before I left, she was nitpicking with her. Like, you know how somebody just point out all your ears? No, you're doing this wrong. No, no, now you're doing this wrong. Now that you did that wrong, this has to happen because of this. You know, just like really just negative. She's a very, 
negative, cruel supervisor, person. Um, she's very manipulative. She's a liar. Um, just really bad things. She just do really bad things. She's a terrible person. And I really hope upper management see this video. Um, so, I am going to tell you, I should sue a motherfucker for emotional distress. How much bullshit I had to go through. It's a lot of favoritism that go on. It's a lot. It's just a lot of fucked up ass shit. Just like when I was trained, when I was training and I tried to tell her that some, this is how she told me to do it. And then she would like try to humiliate you and be like, come here. Did you say this and that? And it, it wouldn't even be like that. It would be like, oh, so she would ask it in a way that she know that they'll get the question right to make you feel stupid, you know. And she'll be like, oh, no, such and such never told you that. She never told you that without even hearing your side. Like, you know, just she's just a terrible person. She's just a really terrible person. And I will never, ever work for someone of the likes like her again, like ever again. She's a very terrible person. I will never forgive her for how she treated me, especially with my first job on the field. Like that was fucked up. So I know it's 16 minutes in, but let me get into story time. So, there was a doctor. I'm not going to say any names in this video. I'm not going to say any names in this video. So, there was a doctor. And the doctor was getting tests to see if she could conceive a child. Um or just check her levels or anything of that nature, you know. So, mind you, I have never, ever had any dealings with this doctor. I've never had any dealings with her medical records, her blood work, or anything, you know. Like, I've never had anything to do with that. So, um... I came in on my off day to help out on my off day. Yes, on my off day. I came in on my off day to help out the staff of the site of which I worked. And whew, it just is getting me so mad. I came in. I had no conversations with this man about anything or anything. I don't even remember how he fucking looked because when you take a patient saying left to right, you just you don't really have conversation with them. You say hi, how's your day? Or how you doing? And stuff like that. You talk about the weather, and then you just let they ass leave, you know? So y'all, the doctor comes in like two days later or a day later or something like that. And she comes in and she says, I had a patient and my patient said that you all basically told him that she was expecting and she's trying to have a baby and stuff like that. So I literally am dumbfounded. Like I'm lost. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, like, I'm like, what the hell? Like really like like what the fuck so my co-worker the one i love so much Bojana, she went into the room to try to talk to the doctor and calm her down and stuff like that and she like there's no like look there's no way anybody could have ever ever told you anything like that i personally think it's a setup and i put two and two together um on a co-worker that 
sat next to me every day and basically told got together a group of people and told that I was leaving to another job I honestly think she set me up honestly I really do think that and I'm just now putting two and two together but I'm just let y'all know right now so um because it's only one person who who literally been there the same amount of time as me and they always ask which one is your doctor which one which one did you see and the signature will be right on the paper and my dear friend Rajana she literally taught me the signatures so I know the signatures by heart keep that in mind I know the signatures by heart I know who did what what was what tests were ordered like I know all of that stuff already so mind you I wouldn't be asking questions like that because I already know mind you but there's only one person when people come in with the same wreck who ask that question over and over and over and over and over again even when they should just already know already but that's none of my business okay anyway so i literally am dumbfounded like i'm like okay well and everybody's like well whoever drew him that's the one who said it whoever drew him and i'm like what the fuck I don't remember any guy, a body like this. I'm like, well, I, at my first initial, I'm like, well, shit, I ain't drawn because I ain't say nothing like that to my patients and whoever the hell I draw. And I'm like, it wasn't me, shit. So, which it wasn't, you guys. Like, it really wasn't me. Like, I had, I never even worked with this doctor to even know what type of test that she was getting ordered or, or anything of that nature. So, um... Yeah, so the guy, y'all, he is literally called. So, moral of the story, the supervisor ends up getting involved. And she says, um, I called him. And it, I, I drew the guy. I drew, I drew him. And I didn't, um, I didn't mention anything about that. I don't even remember how this guy looked at all. Like, I don't even know him. That's why I really wanted them to do their job for one and have the guy come in and point who told him that and point out who told him that. Okay. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. That did not happen at all. Um, so, supervisor, she had a little attitude or whatever that day. So, she said, she comes, she was like, ah, I just got off the phone with him. And it is, you're the one who drew him and it is not looking good for you. It is not. She didn't even investigate the situation. She didn't even do any of that. She just went off of what the guy told her and everything. And he just basically lied on me. So, y'all, it's getting me emotional because I would never do anything like that. And for her to have someone dehumanize my character like challenge my integrity and not fight for me like that was fucked up like you're my supervisor you're supposed to be taking up for your staff you're supposed to be really trying to figure out what happened is instead you trying to cover everything so you can still keep your workers so you can still keep your workers and you think you're doing the right thing. You think you're doing an integrous thing for your staff. You thinking you doing, you think you know what you're doing, but you, you, you don't. That's not something that you fucking cover up. That's not something that you fucking make excuses for. Like what's wrong with you? Like you're like, you're a really bad person. And I just really want you to know that. Um, anyway, so the guy, cause y'all I'm mad, I'm big mad because like that shouldn't have never happened. So that's another reason why I left. Let me just tell you, let me finish telling y'all. So she pulled me into the room and she was like, well, the guy, the, the man basically said, um, his story changed. His story changed twice, by the way. Um, the doctor basically said that he said, that 
the person who did it asked them who was his doctor and then he asked uh he was like the person was like oh who's your doctor oh yeah the girl doctor the girl one oh yeah she having a baby she finna have a baby that's the story the doctor told us and then this is the story that the supervisor got from the patient um she basically said that he was like oh yeah um she's having a baby basically made it seem like the person was drawing his blood um the person who drew his blood which was me basically said that you know she, oh yeah she's having a baby and she's trying to get pregnant and stuff like that which was absolutely not true on my end because i took care of him and i've never said any of those things any of those things to him so the story changed because when he said that he walked up to the counter and was just like oh who and the person was like oh who's your doctor and then oh yeah she's a, she's having a baby and stuff like that and then when she talked to the patient he said that i was already drawing him basically telling you know him that you know she was expecting and that she's about to have a baby and stuff just a whole bunch of bullshit ass motherfucking lies that didn't motherfucking happen okay because why the fuck would I put my coin at risk to tell your stupid ass something about some shit that I didn't even know? How the fuck am I going to tell you that somebody pregnant and finna have a baby or trying for the kid or trying for a kid? And I don't even know what blood work they're getting. I don't even fucking know if the bitch pregnant or not. It went from she trying for a kid she trying to have a kid was the doctor's story and then he got on the phone and basically said that i said that she pregnant and she finna have a baby when the nigga clearly oh excuse me y'all when the goofy ass nigga clearly looked at her stomach and could tell that she was fucking pregnant and like made some shit up you know how people be making up conversation and shit like that but anyway i really do think it was a setup honestly because it was only two people that drew the blood by the way with the doctor previously but bitches ain't looking into that they ain't doing anything like that they ain't even touching that there's all my reason Um, anyway, y'all, so, at this point, she, like, I have to play devil's advocate, and how, what can I do to help you? I'm like, what the fuck you mean? What can you do to help me? I ain't do this shit. So, I'm not gonna lie. I'm crying at this point, because, y'all, new Red Bull, old one done. I'm crying at this point because I'm like, for real? Is this what you really think? Like, and then you're not even going to fucking investigate. She said, I'm not going to investigate because I don't want this getting back. Because if this get back to such and such and such and such, somebody's going to get fired. And I don't want that. I'm just going to tell the doctor what they want to hear. And that you got a final written warning and stuff like that. But you're really not getting it. And just trying to cover shit up when you really should have been figuring out. Who the fuck did that for real? Because one, you got a snake on your team. Because if you can motherfucking sit and tell a bold face straight motherfucking line on some fucking body that literally, that literally fucking didn't do something, you got a problem on your hands. Number two, you really should be figuring this out because the man could have been lying. Anybody can come in and lie on your staff and you have to just do what you got to do. Like, come on. Like, that shit fucked up. And then to make... Oh, okay. Hi, Ari Voucher. Hi, baby. I see you texting me right now. I'm going to text you back. Ooh. 
rest in peace isabella rest in peace my best friend rest in peace you i love you so much and i pray you continue to rest in peace and that's the story time for another y'all that's the story time in its own i had a trans friend and she died so um rest in peace isabella i love you baby girl okay back to this tea because my girl know i'm going off she know So, anyway, we gonna chill today, so, so anyway, y'all, you got me off track, Ari, okay, so, anyway, yes, you should be trying to figure out who the fuck really did that to your fucking, um, stab bitch, because you ain't shit, you really not shit, but for you to even try to cover some shit up like that, that just shows your work ethic as a supervisor, and that's just that so i'm fucking crying i'm fucking crying at this point because i'm like you seriously not gonna investigate this shit to see what happened and then y'all she said the guy was like no no please please i hope i didn't get her in trouble please no 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 so it's either if somebody telling you that he obviously motherfucking feel bad for what he did he obviously fucking lying or he obviously feel fucking bad you know about what happened because either one he motherfucking lied or two he really didn't want to get the person who actually said that shit in trouble because it was supposed to be like a fucking intimate conversation or whatever whatever the fuck i just know it wasn't with me As I eat my sushi, it's a little ginger. So she's just like, You need to. This is exactly what she said. Yeah, this is the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm like literally in tears. I'm like literally ready to quit and walk out that job, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm in tears. I'm broken. I'm heartbroken. Like, I'll type of dumbass shit. Because I'm like, how could you really let somebody blame that on me? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, are you mentally fucked up? You want to keep your staff so bad? You going to let somebody integrity and go down the drain? Because you need workers? That's wrong. That's wrong. That's fucked up. Two. She was just like, you need to leave. She's like, you need to get yourself together. Um, she was like, you need to get yourself together. You need to leave. Um, because I do not want you crying in front of my new hires. Yeah. That's exactly what she said to me. That I need to get myself together because she didn't want them to see me crying. She didn't want them to know what was going on <clears throat> in front of the new hires and everything like that. Okay, understandable. But it's the way she said it. Like, it's the way she said it. She was like, um, you need to leave. Like, basically, like, she didn't give a fuck. Um, I'm literally crying at this point because, y'all, I really didn't do it. I really didn't do it, y'all. And everybody know that's a HIPAA violation. And then who has the guts and the glory to do it with the doctor? That they, that just don't make no sense. That's just so fucked up. Like, that is, like, really fucked up. Really fucked up. So, yeah, y'all. Like... Y'all, working in these jobs, like, you just another number to them. Like, you just another person to cover their site. You just another person to them. Like, they don't give a fuck about you. You could die today or tomorrow. Like, literally, you could die today or tomorrow. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Seriously. Uh. 
excuse me guys what are they gonna do what are they going to do no seriously they're going to replace you they're going to replace you they don't give a fuck about you they don't care they don't care about you they don't and i'm here to tell you alverno laboratories whatever the fuck they call did not care about me bitch i was just another motherfucking number to them another fucking black nigga excuse my french another black nigga working for them that's exactly how it was and then i tried to tell her about the situation we had a meeting about the situation and i tried to tell her about the situation and then i was belittled before beforehand i was belittled she was just like yeah she was agreeing with me before she even talked to the patient she was agreeing with me she was like yeah yeah um you guys wouldn't do that you guys wouldn't do that and then she went back and told me oh it's not looking good for you and then all that other stuff and she was and then she tried to say i don't even expect you to know what a hcg test is anyway she said i don't even she was like no offense I don't even think you guys are even qualified enough to even know that. Bitch, who you think you talking to, boo-boo the fool? Just because I know what something is, that don't mean I did it. And so at that point, I was playing dumb. I ain't gonna lie, I was playing dumb and I was like, yeah, yeah. But at that point, my character right there, my intelligence as a young black woman was disrespected to the ultimate to an ultimate time high and then bitch i came in on my fucking day off i'm gonna mix this in my soy sauce and so this is a mixture of soy sauce sesame seed oil and wasabi yeah. and then I came in on my day off. My day off to help you. I should have said no. I should have said, I really should have said no. I really should have just said no. I really should have just said no. Y'all, watch who you work for. Watch who you work for. Because these people, baby, and these Indiana people, like, y'all already know. Indiana don't give a fuck about black people. And I'm going to just keep that shit a hundred. I'm going to just keep that shit a hundred. Indiana was where the Ku Klux Klan was fucking founded. They hate us. They hate us. You want to know why? Because the more melanin you have, the smarter you are. The more melanin you have, just melanin. I'm going to read y'all some stuff about melanin, okay? Why you think these white motherfuckers go on his hand to get melanin, okay? Melanin has a lot of factors in it. We have black women. We have the richest womb out of them all. We can produce any race. <sighs> this sushi was so good. It was really good. <sighs> yes. And the guy still got to look at you. Look at me. Look at me, little mukbanger. Okay. Oh, you guys, like, I'm just so tired. I'm just so fucking tired of being walked on. And ever since I left from being walked all over and tormented and belittled and pitied and everything just, 
everything. Like, I've been so much happier being away from that job, being away from toxic ass people who ain't got sh shit. Absolutely shit. You ain't got shit. All old as fuck. All old. All haters. All negative inputters like this negative in their thirties and forties doing this like y'all need help. And it was a couple of nice people there. It was I'm not even gonna lie. It was a couple of nice people there. Um there was a couple of nice people there. It was. Especially on my last day. Um, there was just a couple of nice people there, you know. And I wish you guys well. For the people that genuinely fuck with me, like, I wish you guys well. And this video is not for y'all. Um, oh, I will make my video on, um, one of them hating ass workers in there. I, I definitely will because the bitch definitely got me fucked up. Like, she definitely does. Like, you don't know anything about me. You barely talk to me. I barely talk to you. And when I seen how you was moving, I ain't say shit to you after that. And then, um, it was just all being all type of ugly stuff said, like, Girl, you don't even know me. I barely even had a conversation with you. Like, worry about your family. Worry about you. Like, worry about why you're 40 years old and you a phlebotomist. Like, worry about that. Almost 40, whatever. Worry about that. Don't worry about me. Because I came in that bitch every day with no pressure from you at all. No pressure from you. So, I'm just really confused on where all this shit comes from. And... Mind you, I'm going to make a video about this bitch, too, because, mind you, y'all, she was terrible, too. She was terrible. And even the supervisor used to talk shit about her. She was the most damn near talked about, hated coworker in there. Like, the people around you, they don't like you. They don't like you. They just tolerate you. I'm just letting you know that right now. The people that come over there to visit, they don't fuck with you. Because you always talking shit about the people that you're amongst. And then expect to go out and be cool with them. Like you're a hater. And you really just need to get your life together. Because you ain't shit. Like you're a loser. And I'm just keep that shit short. Like you're a loser. Like you literally a loser. And your truck old as fuck. Like get a new one. Get a 2021. And then think you on. Like, bitch. Bitches be thinking they a whole vibe. Like, bitch, you a loser. Bitch. Like, bitch, you a loser. You and your friends. Y'all losers. And I'm just saying straight like that. <sighs> Y'all... Thank you for watching this story time. Thank you for hearing me out. Thank you for hearing my stories. Um, I really fuck with y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And more story times coming soon, y'all. More story times coming soon. Like, that's just, that's just that. That's just that. Story time, story time, story time. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And part three. No, this part two. Part three. Coming. Which one do y'all want to hear, though? Which one do y'all want to hear? Do y'all want to hear? Because I got a couple of, like, hey, Nance, co -work. No. Next, I'm going to tell y'all about how my old supervisor tried to tell me to apologize to my team after my boyfriend had a seizure. I'm the one who had to apologize to my team after my boyfriend had a seizure and I had to go and check on him. 
Stay tuned, bitch. Part three motherfucking coming in the motherfucking door. Make sure you like, comment, and motherfucking subscribe. And bitch, I'm gone. Part three coming soon.